welcome to the only other kingdom at Disney World. Disney's Animal Kingdom. So good morning. We are parked at Dinosaur 33. There's the Tree of Life in all its glory. The official mascot of the Animal Kingdom. Is it called a mascot? What is it called? An icon of the Animal Kingdom. There you go. Look at all these people trying to go to Flight of Passage. I think we're gonna go to Safari. Since I don't think Safari was actually open early, so here we go. All the available space. Thank you for touring with Kilimanjaro. When it comes to safaris, we go wild. Oh, here's giraffes, which are Sarah's favorite. Rumbe Wildlife Frisbee. Gambo River Wine, my name's Ginny, and I'll be your driver for the amazing adventure through Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Up above you is an animal spotting guide. It's here to assist you in identifying some of the animals. We're not going to see all of them, but we usually have pretty good luck. Camera is, hey, if you have them, that's great. Hold on to them. I am not allowed to stop and get out of the truck. There's wild animals out there. And I don't do wild animals on the ground. Now, if you drop something, well, I mean, somebody's going to get it for you. Somebody will. Just not Jenny. Now, as I come around the bend here, if you look over here to the right, I think you're going to see an old copy. It's going to kind of look like a zebra, but it's the only known living relative of the giraffe. Yeah. Oh, no, that's actually a yellow-backed diker back there behind the thick brush there. Yeah, he's kind of hiding. Watering holes like the one coming up is a great gathering place for some of the rarest species. Well, for example, that black rhino up on the ridge up there. Sadly, there are less than 5,000 left in the entire world. Now, they're hunted for the horns on their head. Even on reserves like this, they are not safe. Now, the gray animals up here on the right are female greater kudu. And I know they're girls because they don't see any horns. Males' horns can grow to be 71 inches long. Think about that, 71 inches long. So these are definitely girls. Kind of look like big old baked potatoes when they're in the water like this. Just what I think. Somebody says, oh, you shouldn't say they look like baked potatoes. Well, that's what they look like to me, though. You might say a log or a rock. I think food. <laughs> the birds are pink-backed pelicans. Now, their backs will turn pink during the mating season. Their eggs will incubate in about 30 days. The reason I bring that up is because the animals that live underneath this bridge are Nile crocodiles. So they are ectothermic. They open and close their mouths to regulate their body temperature. They also open and close their mouths to eat. And they look, well, just a bit hungry to me. So this is the most amazing view of the savannah. Now it's part of the Serengeti grassland. Stretches for hundreds of miles across East Africa. It acts like the super highway for millions of migrating animals every year. It's really all part of the wild Africa we're all trying to conserve. Now, the animals at the bottom of the hill are Ancoli cattle. 
They're a sign of wealth in Africa. They're never used for meat. They're a status symbol. More cattle you own, the wealthier you are. This is the very edge of elephant country. So a lone elephant by itself is almost always a male elephant. A group of elephants generally are adult females and their babies. To the left, sometimes we'll see some mandrel monkeys. They are the largest and most colorful monkeys in Africa. Yeah, there's a beautiful male elephant. And if you look to the left, you'll see some mandrel monkeys. Now the biggest threat to elephants are humans. They hunt elephants for their tusks. They're also moving into their habitat in very large numbers. Now with the destruction of elephant habitat, puts both humans and elephants into dangerous situations. Many things we can do to help. We can support and join conservation organizations. Well, for example, the Disney Conservation Fund, where every dollar donated is matched by Disney, and all that money, every cent of it goes to the animal. Coloring comes from the carotene and in the brine shrimp that they eat. So just up ahead is a rock formation called a kopi. It's a good vantage point for large cats. <laughs> well, like the lion. There, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, and there he is. Now the females do the majority of the hunting. The male, well, he's kind of like the house husband. Oh, listen, listen. Oh, the girls are. Listen to the girls now. Pretty cool, huh? Doesn't happen often, but when it does, I have to tell you guys to be quiet so you can hear it. <laughs> Yeah, it's something when the two girls and, and he does it at the same time. Oh, there's the white rhinos. There they are. So he's kind of like the house husband. He kind of takes care of the family while the girls go out and get them dinner. And I see warthogs laying right there in the sunlight. See them? They will dig their own burrs, but once in a while they'll steal somebody else's. Looks like a lazy day in warthog. Now we do have a breeding program, my friends, of white rhinos right here. We've got uh, five girls and one lucky boy. He just doesn't know how lucky he is right now. Hasn't quite figured that out. But we got our fingers crossed. <laughs> At least they're not chasing them around anymore. Or <laughs> they, they like them a little bit. I do want to thank you for choosing Kilimanjaro Safaris today. Best safari outfit in East Africa. 
You folks like the animals we just saw. At 9 o'clock, uh, head on over to Gorilla Falls, Western Lowland Gorillas, Colobus Monkeys, and my personal favorite, well, that would be the Naked Mole Rat. <laughs> How can you resist a Naked Mole Rat? Not me. And I do encourage you to get involved in conservation. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is recycle. Recycle, reuse, repurpose. Any of all of that can help the environment we live in and the environment that the animals live in. And the more of that we do, the better the earth will be. Just a reminder, my name's Ginny. And I never ever say goodbye to my friends. I say Quaharini and that means go well. Please come back and see us again. No two safaris are ever the same. Animals really do make sure of that. So just had a great time on the safari. I uh, got to hear the lions roar. Lions were roaring. So it was really cool, uh, but no giraffes. So I think we're gonna get in line again. Why not? So this attraction you have to do more than once for sure because uh, it's constantly changing. Animals are moving. Coming out, going in. Live animals. So, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in line and do it again.